What up guys, it's Adam here with Outlier and I'm going to show you a new thing today. I'm going to show you two home run props that I really like today and how I'm using Outlier to do that. This is Friday, April 19th. I had to check what it is. Let's go to it right now and boom, a little bit smaller, Adam. All right, so first one that I am going to, I am going to look at, um, let's see, da -da 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 -da. Kyle Tucker on... Um, the Houston Astros. So Houston Astros are playing the Washington Nationals. So the first thing that honestly I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this Nationals game. I go right here. I look at who on the Astros. I like want to take an away player because I want to have a little bit of an extra cushion of an extra tons of at-bats just for this one. Um, who's really good against left-handers? Who's sticking out? Kyle Tucker is. Cool. That's the first thing that I'm going to. Uh, I am then going to look at Kyle Tucker. We're going to go and we're going to pop his over. And here's how I'm basically trying to decide. Here's how I just, the original reason why I decided on Kyle Tucker is like I wanted to find somebody who's good just as a baseline against this type of pitcher, Andrew Heaney. Okay. So um, then I look and here is Kyle Tucker. And what I do is I first go to his home run prop and I look all the way down here. This is what I want. I want to see everything here is green. Uh, another way to look at everything is I sort of, you can take it all out. We're in the game. A way that you can find somebody is you take the hits, you sort by, you have it on over, you have it sorted by who's been doing it a lot lately. You kind of do a little bit of an eye test or who are some guys that you want. We see Kyle Tucker here. Look, when someone's been a hundred percent of it, you're probably not going to get the best line. Uh, but also like another thing to look at is like, how has somebody done just head to head? Look, obviously, Lane Thomas is someone who we might want to consider on the other side. But Kyle Tucker's been hitting the ball really well. He hits lefties. So we're going to take that. We're going to look at it right here. Um, and the big thing that I love to do when I'm looking at any of this stuff, I take his total bases. I try to see how he has been doing against left-handed pitching. We see that the last few games of the season, we see that he's hitting at 57% this season. Um, we see the McKenzie Gore. Look, there's a little bit of red. He's faced 11 batters, uh, but his slugging percentage is still 300. Um, the batting average is still higher than it should be. And the history is good. So Kyle knows him. We're going to take him. We're taking Kyle Tucker again, like I said, to hit a home run. And what I always like to do is I like to have an accompanying prop to go with this. Going to look, I usually look at hits, runs, RBIs, or I look at total bases. Hits, runs, RBIs is going to work for me here because as you can see, the WRC plus goes up. That's green. When it makes a big jump like that, it means the guy's creating runs, creating hits, creating RBIs. It's a fantastic way to look at it. And as you can see here with Mackenzie Gore, um, basically overall against left-handed batters, he hasn't been as great. Um, you can also, when we check at this and we look at the left-handed batters, we see that Jordan Alvarez is absolutely murdering lefties this season. That's two guys that we know will probably be on base. So I like this. I like taking Kyle Tucker for this. I'm going to add this. So you have your baseline prop and then you have your home run prop baseline prop for a unit home run prop for about i use i usually do it to win a half a unit um all right the next thing that we are going to go to uh is the uh, i wanted to go to the cincinnati reds game uh, one of the ways that i try to decide which pitcher i want to do to 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 leave outlier real quickly i usually go over to baseball savant uh i go to probable pitchers I, I do a little bit of a scroll, and what I'm looking for is I'm looking for a pitcher on this side that has not great numbers. Um, and where was the one that I had been looking at before? Uh, here it is. It's Kyle Gibson. You see how this number is right here? This, this expected WOBA on the other side. That When it's not red, when it's gray or blue on this site, that means that they're a pitcher that we should probably look to fade. We are looking to fade Kyle Gibson. So back to outlier. I go around here. I try to find that St. Louis game. It's got a total of seven and a half, which is a little bit low. Understood. Um, we're going to see who does well against right-handed pitchers and who does well against Kyle Gibson. Kyle Gibson history. Willie Adams has a uh, batting 429. William Contreras, who's been crushing it this season, absolutely no uh, hits um, and a pretty bad K, K percentage. Also, Gary Sanchez looks like he does really well. So that said, taking props. Going over then to uh, look where is our St. Louis ones. Apologies, guys. I am an old man, so sometimes I cannot see what the screen looks like. <laughs> uh, again, we're sorting these by hits. We're seeing who's done really well against this. As we kind of go down and we look on the matchup, there's Willie, Sal. These are some other guys. Look, is Sal somebody we could look at? 
let's take a look. He's uh, done really well. He doesn't have any, he didn't do well towards the end of last year. Uh, lately he's been kind of killing the ball, but the problem is, is that all of his stuff on the batter side goes down against right-handed pitching and Kyle Gibson has a really, really, uh, does a lot better against left-handed hitters. So we're going to back out of this one again, William Contreras been great against the team as a whole, really bad against Kyle Gibson. I don't want to lose those two at bats. Who's the guy we're going to corner in on Willie Adam is, um, where Adam is. Sorry, sue me. All right. Uh, this is how he's been lately. He has been just abs or this is how he's been against the Cardinals. He has like an insane hit rate over the last two years, last season, uh, and this season. If you're looking at the last, like, look at this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight times he has hit this eight and uh, eight out of 12. I could have just read that. Um, lately, he's been great. Seven out of 10. Uh, how's he been against right handed pitchers? Again, he's had a lot of right handed pitchers that he's seen lately. Um, has he been on away games? Even better on away games. Eight out of ten in his last uh, ten games against right-handed pitching. He is murdering the ball. Absolutely. We're going to look at – let's see what happens with his hunts, runs, RBIs. Um, kind of goes – he didn't he had a, did not have a great series against San Diego. Let's see how he does against overall right-handed pitching. Again, same stats, same at-bats. Um, but, look, he's got a really good history here. He's got a home run. And we're looking at his WRC plus jumps, his average jumps, his hits jumps. Uh, we already know that Kyle Gibson, I wouldn't pay as much attention to ERA. I don't think ERA is that big of a stat. Um, his The batting average against goes up. Um, the Woba is still around there. These are all within what I consider a good margin. Um, let's look at the bases as well because we want to find that major, that, that single prop. Um, this is good. Uh, his ISO goes up. Look, he's basically going to get a hit is what we're seeing, and he can hit for some power against Kyle Gibson. Again, three hits and six total bases, one extra base hit. This is pretty good. So uh, the Brewers as a whole are hitting a lot better. And, you know, we saw that there's multiple guys that are good against Kyle Gibson on this team, uh, as well as, you know, just look all that green against how they are against right-handed pitchers. Means that somebody's going to probably be on base a lot of the time. So we are going to actually go with the hits runs RBIs. Uh, part of the reason why I also do like that is because I know for a fact that Kyle Gibson walks some people and I don't want to lose out on the bases because of that. And then we're going to take this home run. It, and we're going to add that right there. So here's what we've got. We've got Kyle Tucker to hit a home run. Uh, Kyle Tucker hits runs RBIs. Willie Adamas um, hits runs RBIs. And Willie Adamas um, home runs. And if it's Adamas, sorry. That's kind of how it is. But uh, these are the plays that we really, really like. That is how I am using Outlier to figure out who it is that I want. Again, three things for you to remember are look at History versus the pitcher. Look at team versus that type of pitcher. So a right-handed pitcher is something that you would want or all of them against a left-handed pitcher. Look at the recency. I think part of the reason why we saw like a, we're able to buy low on Willie, even though we know that he's able to do it. Uh, you saw that he has good history. Take those things, put them together, look for green, especially all green on the batter side, and then ship it. So let's see if these guys take these two things to the moon. I'm Adam Rosenberg. You can find me at Hey Rosenberg. You can follow Outlier at Outlier.bet. That's the whole word, at Outlier.bet. Uh, find us on Discord. Find me on Picket. Find them on Picket. All of it. Good luck with all your bets.